Good evening, everybody. So, it's super, I'm super excited because we've been getting a, an overwhelming amount of amazing messages and comments from all of you the past couple days, and we appreciate that. But I have yet to watch any of the race vlogs. So, so our marathon vlog just went live. Here's Sarah. Yay! We had some troubles uploading. Such a pain in the butt today. Oh, you got the doggy? Yes. I think it's kind of warranted, even though how crazy Sarah and I are, that <laughs> after 48.6 miles in my first marathon, that we're going to lay low today. So the vlog isn't going to be too much, but we realized after going to bed that we never showed you all the medals in good detail. So we'll do that later. But right now we're going to sit down and watch all these vlogs. Yay! I can't um, wait for you to see them. You, did, you do hear about it in uh, yesterday's vlog, but I, I did get injured. I did hurt my, my ankle, my Achilles. We went to go to the doctor today, but they didn't have any availability, so we're gonna call first thing in the morning and get me in there tomorrow morning just to make sure it's good, and I've been doing like the rice, look at the compression, elevation, ice, rest kind of thing. That's why we're not doing anything. We might run over to the movies, but at the, now, the hour, like, we're laying low. We're gonna watch yeah. some YouTube, and we'll show you the medals and stuff, so. Obviously, he can stand on his foot. He's been able to bear weight. He's been able to walk, but there is a little bit of bruising which is always a bad sign. So. Especially because the bruising came hours after the right. race. So, we are taking care of it, mm -hmm. but we'll just have to call tomorrow. So you saw in the vlog yesterday that our friends made it to the finish line of the marathon, but what was Really cool is that our friends Jeremy and Kara, who also vlog the Magic Geekdom, the Magic Geekdom, I'll link their channel here. They made a whole video of their journeys yesterday, going from place to place to see Peter. They were with me at the castle, and then again at the finish line. Thank you guys so, so much. Again. It we're a lot about to, me. to watch that. Yes. Yeah, it meant a lot to us. So that's really cool to see like another perspective. Yeah. Now we've got a pizza in the oven. And this little document, I can never say, documentary. There you go. I always split it into documentary. Documentary. On the TV. And maybe this will seal the deal. I have a question. Yes. Because I'm already um, itching. It's been one day. I'm itching for other run Disney's. The princess is sold out for the challenge which I think is three runs, 5K, 10K, half. But American Cancer Society has bibs. Fundraising total is 2,000, but it's so soon, it's only in five weeks. I don't know. I think I want to do Star Wars, but that's... I could do that through direct purchase through Disney or <laughs> fundraise. I don't know. What would you guys do if you were What would theater? you guys do? Oh, and I didn't explain. This is a show about a filmmaker and his musician girlfriend attempt an epic road trip with their dog traveling across North America in a refurbished school bus. AKA so, living. What we want to do. Yes. Peter? Or <laughs> there's Peter. <laughs> do you guys think he looks like him? I'm going to show Peter's bruise. So if you don't want to see it, Skip fast 10 forward seconds. 10 seconds. It's not really bad, it's but not. if you don't like bruises. Some of it is pink from the ice. It's mostly where his heel and ankle meet. Yeah. Okay, last on today's agenda, I show off these medals. Also, if we ever say alrighty again in the vlog, <laughs> you are prepared. After the marathon ones, me and you starting, stopping, alrighty, alrighty was literally our favorite word. So, if we say alrighty, We'll In the next out. week, you can unsubscribe. <laughs> okay. First up. 5K. 5K. The, it's got 3.1 on each side, and the year. And it's the first ever Oswald. Metal Disney's ever put out. Next is the 10K. Mm-hmm. 6.2. The mini. Mm-hmm. Polka dots, and the. Sash. I don't know what that's called. And we upgrade in size of the metal when we go to the half marathon. I like the matte finishes most. So we got 13.1 miles mm -hmm. with the Donald. And it has sparkles in the text. The yellow is nice. 
and then the big kahuna, Mr. Mickey Mouse himself. This is a cool one because it actually spins. And it's a marathon, 26.2, super cool. Mm -hmm. I like this. Again, the sparkles. And the band. I still can't get over Tower of Terror being the icon of studios, but I'll get over it someday. Because in my head, it's always the earful tower. Even though to some people, most people, it's the sorcerer hat. But for the longest time, I would always draw the earful tower. I wonder where that is right now. The earful tower? Yeah. What if it's in like some Imagineer's backyard? Like, whatever. Then we go to the two challenge medals. So there's the Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge. And it's this nice green one. That's 2019. And it's got mm -hmm. the... Um, Alternating distances. 13.1 and 26.2 for mm -hmm. the marathon and half with a total of 39.3. The coolest part about this is the goofy spins, and there's like this negative space. Yeah, that's cool. But it spins, so it's a lot cooler than I first thought. I thought it was just like stuck like this, but it's not. And then the biggest, heaviest metal of them all, the dopiest metal of them all, the silliest. So it still has like that map, but more of a bronze finish. Yeah. Has the stars on it, has the year, has Dopey Challenge with the total of 48.6 miles. That comes from the 26.2, 13.1, and 3.1. Miles. That's how much you ran. That's how much I ran. Then he also got these ears. Marathon finisher. Maybe, just maybe, these will be in the future book art box. I think so. So I wanted to say um, a couple things about the whole marathon weekend and my experience. Um, it was an incredible fun, incredibly like like emotionally powerful to like train for so long and do it. But I wanted to say for um, injury wise, I only have like two kind of injuries. One is both my big toenails got like bruised. I think they'll be fine. None. Peter hates toenails. Injuries. Off. Any kind of toenail injury, I absolutely I had to despise. Pull his toenail off when we went prom camping. In high school, yeah. <laughs> but I think Not they'll be camping, fine. but we just went on a little. I think they'll be fine. Trip and then to a cottage. the Achilles. Um, I go through like ups and downs of like worrying about it. Like just now, I got more worried about it because I can like feel the tendon, like the like stretching of it. Which is not a good sign. But we're going to the doctor tomorrow to get it checked out. Did you Google that? No. Okay. I tend to not Google medical things <laughs> because it always is worse and Sarah always does it. So how can I give Sarah grief for doing it if I'm going to do it too? But one huge lesson I learned about running in the actual races is I realized that during somewhere between the 5 and 10K that like you can't look at compare yourself running to any of the other racers because everybody has their own like game plan everybody has their own paces like I like to start strong and like taper off get slower throughout the, the race other people do like the Jeff Galloway thing where it's like intervals of run walk run walk run walk I don't do that that's probably more my vibe yes and then other people like start slow and then as the race goes on get faster and faster um, so when or you or some people just run five minute miles the whole way right <laughs> So when you're running, don't concern yourself with people that are passing you or you passing other people because they're just at a different spot in their like in their in their like mentality, strategy. their strategy. So many times during the half and the full marathon, I would pass somebody that I remember seeing and then like 20 minutes later they'd be passing me and then like another 23 minutes later I'd be passing them or we'd be at the same spot for so long, but it's just because like everybody has their own their own rhyme and reason of how they're doing their run because everybody's run is That's their own. That's good advice for lots of things yeah. in life, too. So just do your own thing. Yeah. I was even thinking that, like, with the Expedition Happy Happiness that we just watched, like, their experience was cool to see, but, mm -hmm. like, that's not exactly what we do, but it's just cool to see what other people do and feel and like, and you mm -hmm. just got to base it off your own... Yeah. Your own feeling. Mm-hmm. But we're going to... I'm going to... I slept last night with my foot elevated. I'm going to sleep tonight with my foot elevated. And we're going to go to, uh, call the doctor in the morning to try to get our earliest appointment. I'm working from home again. Um, Me too. <laughs> thank you for all the wonderful messages. And we will let you know 
tomorrow. It's interesting to see like how the whole like, Doctor and Achilles thing works. Is uh, how the vlog will be. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get some more home vloggage yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's important to take care of yourself. Yeah. While we sign off, because I know Peter's arm is killing him. Um, in the comment section, leave your favorite Ferris Bueller's Day Off quote. For a long time, it was my favorite movie. It's still up there. Mm -hmm. um, but I just like knowing, and it's a Chicago movie. My favorite quote is when he plays the clarinet, and he said, "Never had one lesson." What's your favorite? I don't know. I have to think about it. Okay, Peter will leave his in the comment section in the below. Comment down below. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>